Hey guys, today we've got a preview of a really cool stove I just bought. What? We're not doing this? What stove are we doing then? Well, today we're doing the new Ozark Trail 4-in-1. Am I really doing a review on this piece of sh Alright guys, I just saw this come out at my local Walmart eh, a couple weeks ago. So I figured for $12, bucks, 12 95 whatever it was, I had to buy one. As soon as you take it out of the pack, you have this carrying case, which isn't bad. It's not the cheapest carrying case I've seen, but it's a little big and bulky. I would never use this to carry the stove around in. You get your legs. Here's something you're only going to see here. How to actually get these legs to go on to one of your canisters. Because if you open this up all the way, your canister is not going to snap in. I can't even hardly get two legs. It just doesn't line up right. The trick I found is if you take that third leg and unfold a little bit, snap the other two in, and then rotate the third leg out until it snaps into place, which is a little sketchy. It's probably gonna break at some point doing that, but it's in there super tight. It's not going anywhere. All three legs have a nice tight fit and it's nice and level. And then to get it off, the one leg that snaps off, it's kind of a pain, but just reverse, close it up, get one leg off here somehow. There we go. And then close the other two and they'll, they'll snap off here. Like I said, something, it just feels like it's going to break. I do not like these legs at all. There we go. We'll see how long these last. I don't think very long. You have a propane adapter that we'll look at more here in a minute. And the meat and potatoes of the whole thing, you have a $13 stove. So the first thing with the stove, I do like it has four legs instead of three. A lot of your stoves now have three legs. This is a, I believe, a direct copy of something. I'm not sure what. If any of you guys know, leave it in the comments because I've seen this style stove multiple times. I don't know if it's just a copy of another Chinese stove or if it's a larger manufacturer that's put under another name. Um, it looks to be a bunch of pieces just put together from other things. Because I know these, I have several other cheap stoves, the little orange adapter that screws on the fuel can. These are on all your really low-end cheap stoves nowadays. One thing, when I first bought the stove, I couldn't get it to work. I couldn't screw it down tight enough. I had to clean the threads out. I had to screw it down and unscrew it, screw it down a little bit further and unscrew it about four times until it actually screw down tight enough to actually even release any gas. It's almost to the point of I don't want to screw it down any tighter to get it tight enough to actually release gas. The more I do it, it's working better, but when I first got it, I, it wouldn't even release gas. We'll start on a low. There actually is decent control on this. I can turn it way down. 
I know it's a little bit of wind. It wouldn't work very well. And it's out already. And high is higher than you're ever going to need for anything. Um, the functionality of it is just fine. I just really don't like how tight this thing is. The friction on the threads is just not very good in my opinion. It feels like you're going to strip something out every time you put it on and take it off. There's the stove. And back to the adapter. I know some of these, you have to have them screwed onto the stove because they just freely release gas into the air. This, I do like, you can't actually screw it on. I've tried once, so I know. You can actually screw it on and it's sealed. So I do like that. So we'll screw it on, see the difference. The flame from this bottle is almost empty. I've used this a bunch. Um, maybe you guys can see there's food all over the side of it. So it's not even very full, but the flame on this thing's two foot tall. That is a lot of heat. Take this off the propane here. So overall, is it worth $12.95? I think is what it was in my local Walmart. I would have to say yes, but for the price, you can buy stoves that are well tested, have been around for several years, people really like, they're thought highly of. This, I think, is just going to be not around for very long. I think too many people have problems. They'll end up taking it off the market just because it's not a very good stove. I honestly probably will not ever use this. Maybe a fishing trip here or there in case I break it or lose it. I'm not that worried. Um, I don't think I'll ever take this camping. I have multiple other stoves that I like way better than this. Um, I'll leave it up to you. If you have to have a stove now and you're at a Walmart, 13 bucks, not bad. But for just a few more dollars, maybe even five more dollars, there's way better stoves out there that have been around way longer that are tested and people stick with and buy multiple times if you have one let me know what you think about it um, maybe you can prove me wrong and you love yours and it stood up and you've taken it out a dozen times already and never had any problems with it